<laughs> well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I've got some experiments done and I have an interesting video for you. I've been recently receiving some comments and private messages about the uh, Optimus Polaris stove and more, more specifically in the fact that it uses one jet to use all fuels across the board. People were asking me, uh, you know, can you conduct some testing and, and let us know how the MSR does? Is there a way to do that with the MSR? And so today I spent most of the day out here in the shop conducting those tests and I can tell you that I have achieved results that are very similar in fact they are better results than what the Optimus Polaris does as far as boil times are concerned now I'll tell you um, first thing is first okay before I tell you what I did or how I did it I want to say that I am not making this video as a representative of MSR I'm not making this video uh, based on anything other than I am a simple person who conducted some tests with some common sense approach in my shop with the MSR Whisper Light Universal and I had amazing results okay I'm not saying go do it I'm not saying go don't do it I'm saying this is what I did and these are the results okay so with that being said let me tell you what I did I took the stove and I put the UC jet in the stove I also put the UC control valve on the fuel line I went across the board with many fuels and I experimented and it turned out that the UC jet was not the jet to use across the board. Okay, it didn't, it didn't perform across the board. In fact, there were some uh, fuels that I used that just flat would not work right. And it, and it, and it kind of came across almost as very inefficient or dangerous. Then I put in the UK jet. Okay, the UK jet did good. But it wasn't across the board, it didn't perform like I expected it would. So in the end, I left the UC valve and the UG, the gas jet, in the stove. And that's how I ran it. Now you're probably wondering, how did you do it? The MSR pumps don't allow that. You're exactly right, they don't. So what I did was I utilized the Optimus Polaris fuel pump and in fact I use the fuel bottle as well and I can honestly say that in my personal opinion again not speaking as representative of MSR but in my personal opinion I do believe without a doubt that their fuel pump is better it's aluminum construction it has a leather cup it gives you plenty of power to pressurize the bottles in fact you got to be careful because that pump will allow you to over pressure your fuel bottle and the results will come out in the stove uh, I like the fact that it has a Lindell valve that you can screw on it so I was able to leave the UC control here uh, I like the fact that it has an on off valve that you can turn the fuel pump off and then disconnect the Lindell and one thing I want to say is that in and I and I used kerosene I used white gas I used gasoline I used citronella lamp oil I used regular lamp oil what else did I use uh, I have used um, the fuel canisters I also even used propane with this adapter okay and all of that performance testing that I did was again with the UG valve, with the UC, uh, with the UG jet rather, and the UC valve. The results were that in boiling 32 ounces of water for each test, I did not have a single test that exceeded the four minute mark across the board, okay, with this setup. So, that's what I found. I found that their pump makes this stove better. I did similar testing on boil times uh, using the quiet stove here 
and I also did it with the regular and with similar fuels the boil times were very close in fact MSR1 boil boil times in some of the tests I have citronella lamp oil right now burning in the uh, Optimus Polaris right now uh, it's pumped up it's ready to go and this fuel took about five minutes to boil water using that same exact fuel bottle pump on the MSR set up the way I told you I was able to achieve four minutes or less so that just goes to show uh, the performance of this stove is still better I did not receive any sooting on the bottom of the pan okay you can see a little discoloration but there was no soot left behind or if there was it was very very minimal I didn't have uh, any fuel lines gum up or anything like that and in between each fuel type okay when I would go from let's say kerosene and then I would go to white gas what I would do is I would hook in either a canister and I would kind of purge out the fuel line to get all that kerosene out of the fuel line I'd let it, let it burn for a few minutes and then I would perform my test so therefore there was no old fuel going into the next test so it's not like I had kerosene still in there performing a white gas test so I, I made sure to flush all my lines and the stove performed fabulously so it's not that you know for people that think that the Optimus Polaris is a better stove I respectfully disagree I think it's a beautiful stove uh, I think there are some good things about it the feet the the narrower you know you can put a smaller pot on and the control of the flame control is, is fabulous but I was able to achieve the same things with the MSR in faster boil times and a wider um, flame distribution so it's just I'm not saying this is not a good stove this is a fabulous stove it really is but I was able to do the same thing with the MSR with better results uh, across the board so anyway I'm kinda talking a little too much a little too long I wanna keep this video fairly short I hope that this information helps you out please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and if you like the type of content that you see on my channel please hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you and until next time thanks again for watching have a beautiful day I hope this helped you out bye bye